looks like everything's in order. At least just about. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get shit ready. Okay. Alright, what's going on people? It's Falcon Punch bringing you Let's Play Final Fantasy IX live. Well, for VOD viewers it's not completely live, but it is being live streamed, and if you like me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter, you can be updated when I will be streaming. So I actually took the time to actually, um, to basically just like level up some characters and stuff so that I won't have to sit around and grind for a bit, and I should be at a decent enough level to actually just be able to breeze my way through things, and if all else fails, I can always just put on the super powerful weapons, and yeah, just get on my way through that. For those of you watching the VOD, or if you're just coming into the stream, it would be really appreciated if you could like the stream, just because it helps out the viewers, and it helps me out much more. Let's go ahead and use a tent. Yes. <sighs> Alright, let's go. So, tomorrow, or Monday of June 2012, I won't be really doing much as far as the channel goes, just because I'll be out. And things should come back on Tuesday. If not, it's probably because I came back really tired and didn't want to really do much. But Wednesday, you know, streams, video uploads, all that jazz should be happening. Also, I recently looked over like my YouTube stuff to see, you know, what's going on as far as my channel is doing, and apparently for the past like 30 days or so, like out of the thousands upon thousands of views like so far I've gotten, most of it has been coming from like people just like getting it from like suggested videos instead of like the actual subscription box which basically says a lot about YouTube subscription channel thingy or whatever. It's kind of dumb. Just, just kind of. <sighs> Made me a little a bit like, what the hell is going on? But at the same time, I, it's also kind of what I expected from YouTube too. But whatever. So many griffins. This griffin, if you eat it with Quino, you can actually get uh, White Wind, which I have right here. Restores HP of all party members, but I don't know. Most of the time, I don't actually ever see Quina or Ugly Ass in your party at endgame, as far as this game goes. So it's not too important, but... A lot of the... A lot of the moves you can learn are actually pretty useful. But whatever. <sighs> Stream's going smoothly, thank god. Let me make sure... yeah, my mic's still working. Did not mean to do that. Alright, here we go. This is the place where we have to be anyway. Or at least we're getting to the place where we have to be. I should probably just run away from these fights, but at the same time, I mean, we might as well, you know, fight when we can. Don't see anything wrong with that. I am. Do, do, do. Okay. We reached a hundred K gold. Now what's more useful to me would be to actually get through here without getting into another fight. Oh well. I'm just gonna summon effort. 
should die after this. Yep. Nice. Well, at least she leveled up before we got into this place. I guess. Entering. Conde Petit. Or is it Conde Petit? Who knows. We came all this way and there's still no mist at all. Yeah, and what a weird shaped village. What is that thing? Maybe it's a temple of some kind. It's this very delicious shape. Inside might have fine cuisine. Jeez, all she he ever thinks about is food. Well, all you ever think about is girls. Uh, that's right. My mind is filled with thoughts of you. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying too hard. Rally ho! Rally ho, rally ho! Uh, what's up with these little guys? R rally ho? Rally who? Rally ho! Hey, hold up! Rally ho! Oh, come on. Rally ho's or sacred greeting. If you did not say rally ho, then you cannot enter Conde Pity. Hometown of the dwarves. <laughs> now wait just a minute here. Rally ho! Rally ho! Rally ho, you can pass. This will be interesting. Vivian the couple. Hmm, the people here sure are different. Come hither, ye. I'm sorry. And just where do you think you're going? You're always loitering around. We should, we should stop heckling me for once. Away with ye. Um, pardon me, but where would you be without me or without me? <laughs> you didn't have to get so angry. If you did not want to hear me complaining, you best you get back to work. All right, woman. All right. Lazy, no good husband o' mine. Hmm. Mercy me, are nay ye a wee one? Running errands here, are ye? <laughs> this is so hard to read. <laughs> well, pardon me, but. Well, give my regards to the others. Gee whiz, the people here aren't afraid of me. <sighs> this should be interesting. Ugly ass accused. Rally ho! Rally ho yourself. Does village have tasty munchies? Hey, that we do. Conde Pity is home. <laughs> the most delicious nuts and berries in the world. I can, that's why folk are always stealing their food. How rude, thieves are very bad people. Hey, that's right. Hmm, lots of yummy looking foods here. Ah, uh, let you have that pumpkin bomb there for 1,000 gil. Huh? Why you need gil to eat food? If you did not pay for something, you're stealing. Ah, so you're the thief, are you now? <laughs> no, not me, I am only Garman. You cannot fool me, thief. <laughs> no, I'm not thief. <sighs> oh my god. Fine ass and William. Excuse me, soon I'm gonna have to find a wife for me, wee William. No lassie wants your William for a man. Well, what's wrong with this out outsider lass right here? Aha, uh -huh, I was wondering, ah, uh, I, she's a bonnie lass at that. Have you, any of you seen, but she's awful small to send to the sanctuary, didn't you, kin? Look at her, she's a Mickey bigger than you, ah, uh, Ken. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not marrying anybody. Hmm, sanctuary. Oh my gosh. Come on, I'm trying to... Magna. I have a favor to ask. Okay, letter to Susanna. 
And we'll save. Let's save. This is probably gonna be like the most difficult part for me just because I can't fucking read this shit. Oh man. Okay. Tell me something, how come there's no mist here? What's what that you say? Mist? What's it taste like? <laughs> really, oh, what can I do for ye? Uh, we might as well s stack up on potions. And, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're not allowed to pass, laddie. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, look, it's Vivi. This is where we give thanks to the sun and the heavens. I'm trying to talk to Vivi. What's the matter, Vivi? Uh, these two people. That hen you cooked for me was awful good, it was. What way did you cook it? Did you frizzle it with some of your magic? The berries you traded me were stooned in too. But like say, what's a wee lad like you doing here today? Hey Vivi, do you know these people? How could I? I've never been here before. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hey Tubbo, get out. I'll try talking to some other people. I'm a bit hungry, Brian. Before we do this... Okay. Sis, I'm hungered. But you just ate a boiled owl, did you know? I did, but it didn't sat- or it didn't satisfy me voracious appetite. I have to eat something with more punch, like say, uh... Rally ho! It's Mr. Pinky Hat. Rally ho, what have you to say all today? Oh. Garnet. Where is she? Need to find her. Hmm. Oh look, it's a black mage. Hmm? Plenty thanks. Your goods are always welcome here. Hmm. Hey. What the? Wait! Hang on, Vivi. Come back! Vivi! Zadane, what's going on? I have no idea, but we gotta catch up with Vivi. <coughs> Vivi, where's the black mage? He ran away. Huh? Where the heck did he come from? Has Braun found us? Do you kin the pointy hats? Huh? Did you just say pointy hats? Nay, I said pinty hats. They often come from the southeast forest to trade with us. They? You mean there's lots of them? And they live near here? Aye, but you got to go all the way around Yung Cliff and then go east to find the southeast forest. Or southeast. They live, say, deep in the forest that even owls did not live there. What's that supposed to mean? So then I want to go to the southeast forest and find them. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea, we might find some clues. If possible to try new food, anywhere fine. Alright, let's head to the southeast forest. Okay. I guess we just leave. I think. Pretty sure. Not mean to press that. 
Okay, so let's see. Southeast is over this way. And yeah. I gotta remember how to get down there. For those viewers just coming in, please remember to like the stream if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Helps me out. And we got a preemptive strike. Attack! Perfect. down there properly. <sighs> Just gonna attack a move basically. To him. Why'd he disappear? I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. Really? Hmm. Goblin punch. This fight's taking way longer than it should. If I just defend, I should be able to eat that to get Goblin Punch. I don't think I have that. Oh, are you serious? How much health could this thing possibly have? I'm gonna have to wait till Flying Ass can attack. Mm. Hello, new viewers. Welcome to the stream. Alright, eat. Should be weak enough. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Maybe we can get to this forest without getting into another battle, possibly. Possibly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Are we gonna do it? Nope. Not gonna happen today, I guess. <sighs> oh well. Just attack and win. <coughs> Should probably get a drink or something. Really thirsty. At least we're leveling up a decent amount. the forest. I think they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. Where there are owls, where there are no owls. I think this was like really 
It's, it's like hit or miss for me. Hopefully we get through here without any without too much trouble. Pretty sure there's a move that we could be learned from this thing. Uh, we'll scan it. And we'll see until after the scan. Arrow. Just eating these things takes forever though. Or like learning to eat them. To get the moves. Semzolet, 911 health. Okay, you can attack, you can attack, and we can attack. Yup, mischievous. Thanks. Is that Charlie or Andy? Oh my god. Do not mean to kill it. I don't even care about like eating these things anymore, it's just gonna kill them. Can't even tell that it's a preemptive strike. I think I have to keep going until there are no owls left or something, I'm not sure. Can't really remember. I remember- I think there was like a way for you to know, like, through the sounds, but I'm not sure. It's really weird. Rainbow wind. Too bad it's ineffective. Die. Please just die with this. Probably not though. Nope, never mind. Well, I mean, we can always say at least we're leveling, right? Maybe. Okay. Can we go this way? Where there are owls, and then where there are no owls. Okay, so you just have to keep following the signs. At least. Just die. Fire and brimstone everywhere. Perfect. Yes, it is X six seven one two X. <laughs> Okay. 
Enter in the twilight zone. Black Mage Village. Ah! Oh, uh, uh, humans, what's wrong? Oh, humans, run! Wait! Did you see them? Yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way, but I- Hey! A village. A village always have good food. I go find. Jeez, you people. Life on the run. The humans are here! Baby! What's going on? Hmm. Dun -dun. Different language. <gasps> Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware. Just like us. The thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right, we wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find out, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is a, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground. Yes, our friends are buried under here. But, why? That's because I I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. My friend, who knows lots of things, told me that this was what death was and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. And let's read this comment. I understand my username isn't that great, but I do post fairly good videos, and I have another channel called Wooden Gecko that I'm for. I don't understand. Are you trying to advertise here? He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Was it a disease, or was he hurt? Tell me, why? That's because... Okay, just have to move the window. Visitor, not invader. Uh, excuse me. Why are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about it. using us. Saving, no, I was trying not to look like such a noob because they died. What? You mean about Vivi? That's not true, it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who's sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies! All humans are liars, you're lying! But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. Uh, let's see. Go buy more potions. Okay. Oh, it's a thing. What's up, fine ass? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane? It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, fine ass? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. 
You're unbelievable, you know that? Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm gonna look for him. Hey, fine ass. Not again. Gorman's nose. Why you run away? Why not do anything? What you hiding? Ooh. Is aroma. Is a delicious aroma. Boom, 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 boom. I think my comments are really badly delayed. Yeah, there is a little delay for this chat. Hey, Vivi. What's up with him? At least for me to read them because, well, it just happens like that. YouTube needs to fix that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. This is an inn, but we're not ready to check you in. Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane, it's it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Grr, I hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look, look for food. Alright, we'll rest. Yeah, we'll call it a day. It's a day and Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure out something for himself. Or something out for himself. Think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? <laughs> maybe, just maybe, he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah, a place where he belongs. Hey Zidane, when you said home, what's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see, once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? Backstory! Oh yeah! This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day the man left home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was a blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe. Blue light special at Walmart. Did he find it, or is it Kmart? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adopted father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcome him home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Wham, pow, whack, bam. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello, nice to see you again. 
Uh, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words, but you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop, and maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, fine ass? The thing, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Kondapiti said there was a place called Sanctuary where entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there and maybe save my mother. My turn to tell a bedtime story. Once upon a time there was a dinosaur named Chuck, but the moon had dinophobia, so I had to move away, and since the moon had, was gone, the evil marshmallows invaded. The end. Cool story 6712. Oh, where's Vivi? If Vivi says he's staying behind. Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Finas and I'd get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You no leave me here, or no can leave me here. I starve. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go, everyone. The Condopedia and to the sanctuary that lies beyond. Dun, dun. Well, before we go to the sanctuary, I actually want to see that Moogle. We might have some mine. It's a letter from Stillskin. Let's read it together. I'm becoming familiar with the geography of the Outer Continent. My next destination is Condopedi. They exchanged a special greeting with each other before entering the village. What was it? I think it was Rally Ho. It's actually Rally Kupo. Kupo. Stiltskin is so funny. Alright, we'll save. Okay. Alright, we built a shack to accommodate our baby chocobo. Pretty nice, don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm thinking of a name for it. I wonder when it'll hatch. I keep it warm constantly. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so our next stop is Condapiti. Alright, we're probably gonna run- wow! Okay, never mind. Hmm. Let's see, we'll just summon stuff and hope for the best. Flames of Hell! Okay, now we keep going. For those just popping in, please do like the stream, it does help me out. And the egg was a chocobo egg. Alright, 
Falcon, hope you don't mind me asking about out of the Final Fantasy series, which is your best and why. Favorite Final Fantasy series will be always will always be um Final Fantasy 7. It was the first Final Fantasy that I ever played in those first like game that actually got me really involved with the story. Plus when I was young, Tifa had really big tits and that was really attractive to me. <laughs> No, but as you get older, like you start understanding like more of the little idiosyncrasies behind the story, and it just kind of opens up behind you. I don't know. That's like the best way to put it for me. for the question. More people should ask questions. It's pretty easy for me to answer them in this sort of format. Although the answers may be a little bit delayed from the time you actually type down the question because of the way YouTube's chat is. Don't really mind actually reading them. In fact, I encourage it. It makes streaming a little easier. In fact, the whole like process just more fun for me. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that valley, but the exit landing there or leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarfies blocks way out of from the shop on right side. No can get through. Hmm. Well, let's just try to go as far as we can. Say, I want to get through here. Never, only those who have received a ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to His Holiness. And where is His Holiness? I don't know where can where he is. Uh, what was one of the most life-scaring things that has ever happened to you? Uh, and then, do you think you'll perhaps make a FF7 a Let's Play? Well, Mimicry Final Fantasy VII will be coming back. That's a fact. I actually had it going for a little bit before I switched graphics cards. But as soon as, you know, things calm down with, like, I guess I can start it ASAP after... Yeah, I can start it ASAP. I'll start playing it soon. And then for 6712's question, the most crazy slash, like, scary thing that ever happened to me was when I got in a car accident. Uh, I was taking my little brother to, like, an SAT prep school. And I was waiting to make a left, and some guy came into the middle lane, which was the turning lane. And basically, what happened from there is I got—he hit me in a head-on collision, and then it broke both my arms. And when I wake up, I see my arm like move that way because like the bone in my arm had snapped in half. And yeah, that was interesting. Nope. Which one's his holiness? 
Oh, here he is. Hey, mister, are you the holy guy? Hi, I'm Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, a priest has much to worry about, you see? Yeah, whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. Hmm, tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is that ceremony about anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So basically it's a wedding, and a honeymoon, right? I do not ken your words, lad, but methinks you understand. So we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh hey, fine ass. So yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched, but there's no way we'd actually- let's do it. What? Say, you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? But we have, say, young, a uh, few young folk nowadays were doomed to 99 couples. I was worried about ha that very thing. But what's the harem? Now we can have our hundredth ceremony. Uh, fine ass, what's going on? Okay, before this starts, just checking how long I've been streaming. Spirits of the mountain, spirits of the wood. Uh, now how did I get into this? Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. Ma, poor guy, you may have given me a car phobia. Just kidding. Yeah, it's really nothing to be scared about. It's just watching out for other people being stupid. We gotta do the ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Now hold on a sec, fine ass. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. No kidding. But we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but... But that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health? Of course we're just trying to get past this village. I have the strength to carry you through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. May the blessings, O oh heaven, be upon this man and woman. Fine as now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. <laughs> Playing hard to get, eh? Happy fit. Now you need a nuncio you're joining to the twins at the other gate. What, you mean just more? We have to follow tra our tradition, lad. Oh well, time for us newlyweds to make the rounds fine ass. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. So dang, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? Well, you know can just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Uh, why don't you guys get married too? Why don't you guys get married too? What? Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Finance and I can go announce our marriage. Active time event. Nuptial joy. Alright, so I'm not going to read through this. basically the same deal. I so happy. M me too. Thief! Hi guys, we're the newlyweds, the Dane and Fine Ass. Rally ho, happy fit, off to the sanctuary then, are ye? That's right, will you let us through now? Probably, oh, of course, safe journey to both of you. Let us be off, my darling. Thief! Huh? Mog, hurry! Stop, thief! Stop, thief! What's going on? I don't know, let's go take a look. Mm, they got away. Fuch, or fuk? Fuk? And we cannot go any further. Does anyone live out here? Of course no. It's forbidden. Look, 
Yon two thieves are always snitching food. Oh yeah? I'll catch them next time. Oh hi guys. So you've had your ceremony, right? Yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. <laughs> hey. Dun, 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 dun. Hurry, Mog, before we get caught. What's wrong, Mog? Wait, don't leave me here. Ah, <sighs> stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. He has a tail, though. Huh? Ah, help! Don't eat me, I won't taste good. It's true, I taste awful. You heard her ugly ass. I see, too bad. But Moogle that ran away a very strange color. I go find and eat it. No, don't! Ah! Gotcha. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? And I do have a name, you know. Um... I'll just leave it. Aiko is fine. The name's Aiko. Before you introduce yourself, or shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduce yourself first. You got a problem? I'm fine ass and this is Vivi. Yeah? What about you? Me? I'm Zidane. Zidane. Alright. So Miss Aiko, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like ugly ass. Hey. Did she he really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no, she he gonna eat or she he's gonna eat Mog. I don't think her ugly ass would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Aiko? Yeah, beyond this path. I'm sure Mog went home. Why don't we take her home? Yeah, yeah. Anything for my lovely wife. You two are married? Yep, we're newlyweds. No, no, we're just friends. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I want to be your friend too. Alright then, let's go to our new friend's house. <clears throat> okay. What's this? Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't want to get that item anyway. Look at all these oglops. Oh, still skin. I thought I'd sell you a set of magic tag, tent, and ether, but you already have them. And a fight out of nowhere. Okay, so we gotta set up Aiko's like little equipment and stuff. So we might as well do that now. Uh, let's see, I need to find level up. that for now. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. We can get 
Fenrir later. Right now we need level up and ability up. Which is right here. And yeah, that should be fine for now. Abilities. Uh, Auto Regan is fine. Level up. And... Loud Mouth. Should be good. Mognet, give letter. Thanks for delivering mail from Mogmat. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him. It's been six months since I started living in Condipiti. The food here is great and the people are very nice, but but the only thing I can't get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Koopo. If you could have one superpower in the world, what would it be? Probably the ability to create matter. Like anything. Village life sounds hard. Okay, and we're saving. We'll get through this part and then we'll see what we'll do from there. Okay. I think it's up here. Yeah, it should be up here. Maybe I shouldn't have summoned Shiva. Because I have a feeling it's going to heal everybody. Nope, never mind. What's that? <laughs> Is that the sanctuary? Whatever. What the? And we run into a battle. Is it a boss? And 6112, my superpower would be the ability to steal your superpower. That's not nice. Matt, are you going somewhere? Where are you going? Who's taking you? Okay. Sound fun.
thing should be dying pretty soon. Oh wow, it's gonna heal everything now. Rama. That big monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Aiko. Teehee, thanks. Hey, that's not the way to my house. That's the way to the infantry. This way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. The infantry? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the leafa tree. The leafa tree. Or is it the leafa tree? Let's go. I think it's just going up here and we should be fine. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Alright guys, I think that's enough for today, so thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please do like the stream, and if you're watching from the VODs, if you haven't yet, please do like the video. You can leave any sorts of comments, questions, I will come back and answer them, and yeah, later.